What was it like having dinner with him? Uh, <laughs> it was it was a hoot. That's one of his words that hasn't been thrown out uh, in the last few days. Uh, I haven't heard that. A uh, hoot. It was a real hoot. Um, um, every Thursday night, you know, we'd, we'd, games were on Saturday. We'd usually get there on Thursday and have dinner on Thursday night. And uh, we'd either have uh, by ourselves or by with some of the crew would be with us. And um, there'd always be uh, a bottle of uh, red wine, mm-hmm. you know, at least one bottle, maybe a couple. <laughs> and there'd be a, uh, yes. a little kettle one going around. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> And uh, and Keith Keith was uh, was uh, always the sweetest guy. I mean, we we would either be two of us or four of us or six of us. And if anybody came by, and the, the other people in the restaurant would come by and want to talk to Keith and want to get his autograph, he was just the most accommodating uh, uh, guy you'd ever want to meet. You know, he never turned anybody down. Um, I, I was the um, I was there in um, yeah, I think it was in 1999. I think this was right when he was a, uh, I got his acceptance speech when uh, he re- received the gold medal from the College Football Hall of Fame. And one of the one of the little excerpts from this thing I want to I want to read to you. He signed he signed a speech a two-page little speech, and gave it to me. I put it under glass, and I've got it on my wall here. Okay. And I want to just give you a part of it. Please. Um, Okay. For nearly half a century, I have stood at the edge of your stage for the simple purpose of definition, never wanting to intrude, but rather enhance. I hope I have done that. I have certainly tried. That's the way Keats was. He was he was one to he wanted to amplify, clarify, and don't intrude. I told Keith one time, I said, Keith, all this business about Bo Nelly and uh and uh, big uglies. I said, We could we could put that Whoa, Nelly on a golf shirt, or big uglies on a on a ball cap, and you could you could make some money selling those suckers, and people would love love to have them. I said, nope, Grease I said I ain't going to do it. I said it's about the kids, it's not about me, and that's the way he was. Never wanted to intrude, only to enhance. Bob, I cannot thank you enough for sharing those stories, um, and um, and. Thank you for calling in and, and giving us a piece of uh, what... Uh, he was you, a great you, man. He was a great guy. Um, um, and um, um, he was, a, he was um, uh, a loving f- a w- husband to his wife, Terri Ann, and he was a great friend. And we'll miss him. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.